Matthew in chapter 17. Now this, something I've preached before probably a couple times, but this is what God's put on my heart. So obviously, some of us need it. <laughs> Matthew chapter 17, um, we're going to read verse 20, but before I read that, uh, everybody probably knows this, but this is when uh, there was a child that uh, he was, the father said he was a lunatic and vexed and he was thrown into the fire and thrown into the water and he was brought to the disciples and they couldn't cast out the demon and then Christ came and did. Uh, but I want to look at verse 20 here, Matthew 17 and verse 20, and Jesus said unto them, they had asked Christ why we couldn't do this. And he said, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard, <coughs> ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and then we'll get into the scripture. Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity, Lord, this privilege to be in your house this morning. We thank you, God, that you made a way that we could be here. We thank you, Lord, for each and every one that's gathered here this morning, Lord, and we pray you'll be with those who are our little congregation who aren't with us this morning. You know where they are and what their needs are, and we pray, God, you would just be with them. And Lord, now as we look in your word, we pray, Lord, that you would send a message, Lord, that you would have us to speak, that you would open our hearts, open our minds, help us to receive it, Lord, to apply it to our lives, Lord, that we would ever be made more into that that you would have us to be. And we thank you and we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I said, I've preached this before, but I don't think some of us are really getting it. And we need to really get it. Uh, this statement here by Christ is a very powerful statement. If we would just take it in and understand it and listen to it. Uh, Christ said these disciples couldn't do what they couldn't do because their strength, their belief was not strong enough. Their faith was not strong enough. And I'm telling you, and you can go find the scriptures. We don't have time to go to all of them. But he tells us in many, many places, uh, if we have the faith, there is nothing that will be impossible to us. But we go through this life and we're defeated and we're put down. And we wonder why this didn't happen and that didn't happen. And all these kind of things. And the answer is right here in what Christ said. Because of your unbelief. And we may say, we may say I do believe. I trust God. And it's one thing to say it. But it's another thing to live it. Right. We actually have to live it. We have to act on it. We have to act it out. We have to understand it. And what Christ said, they couldn't do it because of their unbelief. And he went on and said, and this applies to us also, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you could say to the mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, and you all know where I'm going because I preached this before, but I want you to get this first. If you have this kind of faith that he's talking about, you could say to the mountain, be removed, and it would be removed. And get this, his follow-up statement, and nothing, mm -hmm. nothing shall be impossible unto you. And I want you to look at your own life. I want you to look at Christians. I want you to take a real good hard look. Look how we live. That's right. Look what we put up with. Mm -hmm. Look what we allow ourselves to be dragged through. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Many times because of our unbelief. Why do we do without? Because of our unbelief. Why are we miserable? Because of our unbelief. Why did so much happen to me? Because of my unbelief. That's right. Amen. And you can say, and I will agree with you uh, to a degree, you can sit and say, things are going to happen. Yes, they are. The Bible tells us that. I will never deny that. You will have troubles. You will have trials. You will have tribulation. But he never says they got to last your whole life. He never says you got to be miserable your whole Christian walk. He never said that you got to put up with it forever. He says it will come. I heard a message one time, and it rings in my ears. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. It's going to come. That's right. But it can also pass. That's right. But a lot of time it stays because of our unbelief. That's right. 
what he said. And I want to get into this part of it, and I know I preached this before, but I am telling you, God has burned this on my heart, because if we would get a hold of it, it would make such a difference in our lives. He said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, and again, you know what I'm going to say. It doesn't say the size of a grain of mustard seed. Right. Remember that. I will give you this scripture in Luke. You don't have to turn there. Luke 17, 6. If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Again, he said, if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, not the size of a grain of mustard seed. We need to read the Bible for what it says, not what we think it says, not what we've been told all our lives. I was told all my life, if you have faith the size of a grain of mustard yeah. seed. That's not in the book. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's not in there. That came out of somebody's mind. It's not in there. He said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. And you do. Each and every one of you does. Romans 12, 3 says, God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Not a measure. Not, I could say, take up you. And you could choose any one of them. Mm -hmm. He didn't say a measure. He said a specific, the measure. Right. You get just enough faith to get you saved. Mm -hmm. The measure. If I said take the pew, I would be referring to one specific thing. When he said he dealt to every man the measure of faith, he was referring to one. Everybody says not different. It's one. The measure, enough to get you saved. It's the size uh, that you need. Uh, it's the uh, um, intensity that you need. It's everything you need in order to believe enough to get saved. Everybody has been given that much, that measure of faith. And you can look at that as that's your mustard seed faith. You've been given that much. And he said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Every child of God has faith as a grain of mustard seed. But listen, that grain of mustard seed will never be anything other than a grain of mustard seed unless you do something with it. That's right. There is something that you have to do in order to make that grain of mustard seed something other than just a little teeny tiny grain of mustard seed and that's what we don't do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna go to Matthew chapter 13, break in at verse 31. Another parable he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Uh, he's talking about uh, the grain of mustard seed again, which is the least. It's a tiny little thing. It's not much of anything at all. It's just a speck. But he said, which, when it is sown, it becomes the greatest of all herbs. So, as I said, there's something that has to be done with that grain of mustard seed. With that little bit of faith, that measure of faith, there's something that has to be done. It has to be sown. It has to be planted. It has to be put out there into the ground. And it has to be sown in good ground. And that's what we have to do with our faith. We have to sow it in good ground. And what do I mean by that? We have to sow it in the ground that God has provided according to the will of God, according to the promises of God, according to the direction of the Word of God. If we do things the way the Word says, according to God's will, according to God's direction, then it grows. A lot of times we do it according to how we think or what we think should happen. Listen, there's a lot of them out there that are preaching and teaching you that there's a formula that will make God do things. And that just ain't so. It's got to be according to the Word. It's got to be according to God's will, and that's what we have to do. And many of us are raised up, taught, telling, uh, told, and preached to, and taught all these different things about how you do this and how you do that. And we try it, and nothing ever happens. We need to do it God's way. That's right. Amen. I can take that grain of mustard seed, and I can go, and I can sow it in that old red hard-packed 
clay and it ain't going to grow. That's right. That's right. But if I take it out here into good soil that is well watered and fertilized, it will grow. You have to water your faith. You have to grow your faith. And how do we do that? It's through the Word of God. It's through uh, getting into that Word and understanding that Word and letting the Spirit speak to you and letting the Spirit guide you. It's through being in church. It's through being around God's people. It's all those things that enables our faith to grow. And one of the biggest things, more than anything else, know it. Just know it. That when I take that seed out there and plant it, though I don't see anything happen, I know under the ground something is going on. You know, something has to happen underground for a while before I see any results. That thing has to get germinated, and it has to split open, and the little tiny taproot has to begin to come out, and that has to spread out. Things have to happen out of sight before you can see the result. And we have no patience, and we have no trust, and we have no confidence. And I know I say this often, but we'll go and ask God for something. And if it don't happen just like that, oh, God don't want me to have it. But Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible to you. But we want it right here. We want it right now. If it doesn't happen the way we think it should, hey as fast as we think it should and in the manner that we think it should we give up on God he said this grain of mustard seed was the least but once it was sown and it sprang forth it became the greatest listen you gotta start somewhere we think uh, that we get everything all at once and if it don't happen that way we have no patience how many times does the Bible say to wait on the Lord that's right it's in there many, many, many times, and it's in there for a reason. We have to have patience. And I heard a lot of people say this. Don't pray for patience. I think you should. Because we need it. We need patience. And listen, they say don't pray for patience because, you know what? Tribulation work of patience. But you know what? You're going to have tribulation anyway. That's right. That's right. Because Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation. So you might as well get something out of it. <laughs> we need to wait on the Lord. That grain of mustard seed that that man planted, he didn't go out there, throw it in the ground, go home, go to bed, get up the next morning and go out, and there was the plant. It didn't happen that way. It's the same with our faith. Why does Christ say things the way he does? So that we can get a hold of it and understand it. So that we can get a picture. Your faith is just like that seed. Something has to happen out of sight before you see the end result. And you have to be willing to wait for that to happen. Knowing that though I can't see it, something's going on. <coughs> Mark chapter 4. <coughs> Again, yeah, verse 24. And this is Christ again. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given. And he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. What does that have to do with the mustard seed and the faith? Listen. Listen real good. Take heed what you hear. That's not just talking about what you listen to. It's what you act on. It's what you take in and believe and act on. Take heed to what you hear and, and act on and, and take into your heart. With what measure ye meet, with what measure you accept it and believe it and act on it, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. If you hear this and you act on it and you do your faith the way that we're talking about, more will be given to you. Your faith will be increased. Your faith will grow. More will be given to you. Take heed. How do I know that's what he's talking about? You have to take the scripture in context. Listen to what he goes on and says. So it's the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground. The same thing he's talking about. What is he 
Say it. Listen to what I'm telling you and act on it. Because it's just like that seed. If you believe it and you act on it, it will increase. It will grow just like that seed. If you plant that seed, it will grow. It will increase. We have to get a hold. We have to take this word, and this is going to be a funny way of saying it, as gospel. Because it is gospel. If we act on it, if we truly believe it. Listen, Christians go around saying, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it. And we live totally opposite. That's right, amen. We need to live it. That's right. Quit talking about believing it and start living it, then everybody will know you believe it. That's right. And it don't matter whether they know or not. It's what God knows that matters. Amen. That's right. You can say you believe it all you want. God knows. Right. Whether you believe it or not, uh, enough to live it and act on it and make things happen. God knows whether or not. And listen, this phrase that just came out of my mouth and God said, back up. You can make things happen. Mm -hmm. You can make things happen. Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, and whatsoever you ask, nothing shall be impossible to you. You make it happen by doing what he told you to do. By living it the way he told you to live it. By going by his precept. By walking in his word. And doing things according to the word. You can make things happen. Mm -hmm. And he says here, if you hear this and you act on it. I will give you more. It will increase. Your faith will grow. I'll give you more understanding. I'll give you a deeper understanding. And you will be able to see more things happen. For he that hath to him shall be given. If you get it and you act on it, you get more. But listen to what he says after that. And he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. He that doesn't trust. He that doesn't believe. He that doesn't have enough faith. Even what little bit you got, you're going to lose. How many people, Christians, have you seen live miserable for so long they just give up and quit? That's what he's talking about. Even the little bit you had, you're going to end up losing if you don't trust God and believe God and act on the word of God. And I am telling you, according to the word of God and according to what the Spirit is speaking to my heart, you can make things happen in your life. You don't got to live like you live. You don't got to live defeated. You don't got to do without. You don't got to be miserable all the time. That's right. Those things that come will pass mm -hmm. if you believe, if you trust and you do it God's way. So is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground. Now listen. And should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring forth and grow up. He knoweth not how. Now listen, there's a time period going on here. The man plants the seed and he sleeps and he rises night and day, night and day, night and day. There's a time period where he's not seeing anything. But then it goes on and that seed would spring up. And he knoweth not how. We don't know how God works a lot of times. We don't know how he's going to bring it to pass. But listen, I know that he will because he said that he would. That man, and there's, they think they know stuff. There ain't no way in this world you can find anybody can tell me how an oak tree came out of an acorn. How did God wobble that thing up small enough to shove it in that acorn? <laughs> Explain it. I don't know how it works, but I know it works. Right. The same thing with the things of God Amen. in my life. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he will do it. That's right. I don't know how he's going to bring it to pass, but I know he will bring it to pass. This man planted the seed and he rose night and day, night and day, night and day. He didn't see anything, but then it sprang up. He didn't know how all that happened, but he knew it had happened. Mm -hmm. He knew under that ground when he couldn't see anything, something was going on. Mm -hmm. He didn't know exactly what was going on. He didn't know how it happened, but he knew it happened. And that's where we have to be. Even when I don't see it, even when I can't see it, even when it looks like it's impossible, I have to know that out of my vision, out of my sight, something is happening. How do I know that? Because God said so. How does he, you know when you plant a seed, something's going on? Experience. You've seen it before and it keeps happening. Yeah, in that book, 
is experience after experience after experience, example after example after example of what God has done. It has happened before. You all know the song. He'll do it again. Amen. 